Looks like this C7 has got some goodies. It's already got a pro charger and I believe it's a 416 stroker. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, get to work on this thing. It's that Pro Speed trunk tank. K Tech 103 throttle body. Smaller pulley to max out the blower. And we got some true and upgraded rockers since they got stock ones on there. What up, YouTube? We're back with another video. I'm just going to throw a little short video together while we finish the install on this beautiful Corvette right here behind me. We're actually installing a Tick Performance air to water brick in between the Texas Speed intake manifold. And we are doing a Pro Speed trunk tank and running all the lines through the vehicle to get this Pro Charge Corvette set up on air to water. So y'all stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. I posted a short and a few people said that they wanted to see a quick walk around, but of course with the landscape view. So I'm going to go ahead. Basically the car came in. It already had the TSP intake. It's got a 416 with ported heads, LT4 fuel system with another pump coming off the lower part of the tank. We did not do the original build. Um, we've just been doing maintenance and fixing little issues here and there, regular mechanical stuff. Um, but now his intake air temps were pretty high. Customer wanted to get lower intake air temps. So it was either put meth injection on it or do air to water and do a one-off custom setup for his vehicle here. So here's what we did so far. We removed the Pro Charger. I put the green belt on. You can see that's brand new. And I put a 3.33 pulley on there. And it took the 3.47 pulley off. We installed the Tick Performance air to water brick that goes in between the Texas Speed intake. We installed the K-Tech 103 millimeter throttle body. So as you can see, we're still getting the lines and everything hooked up. We've got the Dash 12 lines coming from the Pro Speed tank in the trunk, which I'll show you guys next. But I just have to fit the lines up. I'm just actually running all the lines from the interior first. I'm going to make it all nice in the interior, and then I'll cut it to length last up here. I pulled the intake off. I noticed the high-pressure fuel pump back there was leaking where that line's coming off of. So I replaced the gasket on it. We also did the rocker arms. We put some Michigan Motorsports true and upgraded rockers on both sides of the motor. It had 416, you know, all everything upgraded. I just told him when I did an oil change that I noticed he still had the stock needle bearings and the stock rockers. So we put a set of uh, upgraded rockers on there from Michigan Motorsports, put new valve cover gaskets on. You can see the valve covers are nice and clean. I ordered a new filter for here, and I'm actually going to remove the catch can and completely clean it up and the bracket before it leaves to go to the fab shop. These lines actually, these dash 12 lines here run down through the body. You can see they come down next to the dry sump container here and then they run through the body. So basically through the car here and then they come out on the back side. I know it's hard to see with the light, but they come out up on the back side of the fender and then they shoot up in through the car there. And then you'll see they come up under so i was test fitting the interior nothing is in there i was seeing if i needed to trim the back panel here or if i needed to trim the carpet the rest of the interior in place and you can't even see the lines on this portion so we'll have them tucked down below the battery that way if we ever need to service the battery the battery can come out Pro speed tank does sit over here on this side it bolts in right now we don't have it bolted in I put some rivets underneath the carpet when I had it pulled out and that's where the tank will bolt in at, but it actually sits nice and flush in the corner. You can see it's got the pump inside. We got two dash 12 lines coming off and we also have the drain going down up underneath the vehicle. The last couple of steps we need to do is get this fitted up properly. So I'm gonna remove all the interior panels back out and I'm gonna mount the tank back down. Now that we know we're gonna have the lines just run across the back of the carpet. We're gonna have our guy Am Fab do the charge pipe with the blow off valve mass airflow sensor. Do this McFarland style. The hood was already cut out because the TSP intake was already on the vehicle, but it's going to definitely have to be trimmed more in the back corners and over here. And then our guy is going to put a nice beauty ring on the hood to just set this thing off. Get a better look at the lines. See where the lines run to. Past the battery. That way, if we ever got to pull it out, 
We're getting the relay wired up now for the pump. Got a nice weather connector made for it. You see it dishes out this way, goes out the interior through here, one there, one there. See the tank is solid, ain't going nowhere. So now we'll get the lines fixed up to where they need to be and then get the interior put back in. All right, so we're gonna run it similar to this, tuck it up to this panel here. So we're getting the panel over there trimmed right now so it can pass by. And then that way, if we're working on it and we need access to the battery, we got full access here. So we're just gonna get this panel trimmed out. That way it's a nice, clean, sleek look. Just had to trim this one panel here. You see this panel is cut out as well. That way this one actually slides up behind there where it connects. So it's a nice little flush fit. And the rest of them will just tuck away nice like that. All right, you can see we got the wire running going to a weather connector that we put together there. Comes down, jumps off the fuse box. And then we've got the uh, relay mounted back here on the interior. So once we hook up the front lines, we're gonna test the pump, just make sure it kicks on. We label our wiring. So if anybody ever came and worked behind us, they know that relay is for the ice tank over there. You see that power wire right there it's for the ice tank there it has a nice fuse we got all the lower clip brackets in we got the lower mounting point back in and tied back to the chassis speakers all bolted up at every point and then we got all of our clips here so now we're going to start fishing more of the interior in i got the carpet laid in there got to get these mounting points in a few different things but we'll go ahead and uh get all the interior back together now like that got all the interior in all the body panels and clips got the wires tucked down under got the drain going out the bottom wiped all the interior down got the lines zip tied nice together that way if they did move which they won't it's pretty solid but if they did move they'll stay together got the running down out the fender well there so now that the interior is done we're going to go ahead and move to this side of the car wheel well is in place got all the hardware locked in got the bolts underneath here so we'll go ahead and put the wheel back on tire on let's move to the front now get that front wheel well in place the lines coming up not rubbing or touching on anything. Got the electrical connector plugged back in for the dry sump. So now, let's go ahead and get this wheel well in place. All right, we got the car back on all fours. See the interior, got one wheel well in. Got the other one in. So we're now we're gonna finish these two lines here up top, cut them to length. We did get the hardware in. We had zip ties holding it together at first, but pop the lines off real quick. This is the feed for the pump. We're gonna fill this up with water and then we're gonna put a return in here. That way if we get any water or whatever thing, this blanket will uh, clean it up. But let's go ahead and get a bucket for that and then we'll plug the pump in, activate the power, flush the lines out with all the gunk. All right, so we're tying the fittings together. That way we can flush out the lines. We don't want any of the junk going through the brick or back into the uh, pump in the tank plugging the pump in now Look at all that. and all that look at all them chunks of black and it's exactly what you don't want going through your yep all that came out the lines don't want that going through your brick See, we got the vet back from Am Fav. He worked his magic, went ahead and put a vacuum line on the blow off valve, and we got everything connected. Just gonna get the catch can routed up real quick, tee it into the rest of the system. Leading the system up right now. Run 
running through. See, we got the lines tucked away now. And they run down through the bottom, back up through the trunk. Got the Pro Charger pulley on there. New Pro Charger pulley. And it was missing the keyway when I took it apart, but we got the customer back together right. I'm just waiting on the blower guard to come in that fits on the front. We got it special order, so once that comes in and we tie that catch can line in, this thing's ready to go. It rained yesterday and I got the car inside, so it's a little dirty, but you can see final work on the hood. It's got some rain spots and a little bit of dust. We're in Arizona, so it's a little dusty, but you see that tick performance sticking right out the side. Blow off valve, got the dash 12 in in lines. Perfect with the hood, wiring all set up. Go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Oh. So you guys can see, hood clears. Got the blower guard on, got the new filter on. Got all of the lines and everything. y'all so that'll wrap it up for this video you can see car's complete customer's actually on his way to come and pick it up from here it's going to go to the dyno we just did a little smaller pulley and the air to water um he knows not to step on it nothing like that but yeah i appreciate you guys watching like comment subscribe more content to come